Time to combine the power of Llama 2 with Langchain Q&A. So we're going to learn how to use Langchain with Llama 2 as the large language model base and everything here that is done is completely local. So if you were to do this in your organization or where there is data pro protection or privacy policy, this is probably the easiest thing that can help you get started with Llama 2 and Langchain where you do not have to use OpenAI or any other endpoint. In fact, the models are not being hit with the endpoint. We're going to download the model on Google Colab and then use everything locally completely. That also means that you need a GPU. So here in this particular case, I've got the T4 machine. So the T4 machine is what is going to help us do it. It has got a maximum of 15 gig VRAM, the graphics memory, and then the 12 gig CPU RAM. And then we have like a 78 GB of disk storage. So to start with, first thing that we're going to do is, okay, a disclaimer before, a lot of code that I borrowed from this particular Hugging Face Spaces. So kudos and thanks to the author. So first to start with, we're going to install four libraries. Langchain, which is going to help us build this AI application. Transformers, which is Hugging Faces library that helps us download the models. Accelerate is going to help us do GPU memory management and bits and bytes is going to help us load the model in with four bit quantization. Once we have installed all the libraries, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to from langchain.chains, we're going to import LLM chain and sequential chain. Only thing that we're going to use here is I think like LLM chain and then from langchain memory, import conversation buffer memory. In this particular tutorial, I'm not using any memory, but this is again an option for you to extend it. From Langchain, import Hugging Face Pipeline, which is what we're going to use to connect the Hugging Face model to Langchain. From Langchain, import Prompt Template and LLM Chain, which is something that I've already uploaded, imported. And the Prompt Template helps us define a Prompt Template so that every time there is a call that is being made to the LLM, the particular Prompt Template is used. Then from Transformers, import Auto Tokenizers, Auto Model for Causal LLM, this is to download the model. Import torch is particularly used to specify the data type, the data structure type, and we have got some helper functions. The next thing after we have downloaded or imported all the libraries, the next thing is download the tokenizer, download the model. When you download the model, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. Before even that, if you are wondering why are we downloading Llama 2 from newest research, not from Hugging Face or not from Meta AI, the primary reason is if you were to download Llama 2 from Hugging Faces or Llama 2 from Meta AI, then you have to enable authentication because it has this approval form and then it makes sure that your Hugging Face account is authenticated. To completely avoid all this mess, we are using the newest researches Llama 2 7 billion chat model. But if you are still wanting to use only from Meta AI, then you need to enable authentication here. And in fact, before that you have, you should have authenticated your notebook, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. So I'm not covering that. So download the tokenizer, download the model. When you download the model, make sure you enable device underscore map is equal to auto, which helps the accelerate library to manage, do memory management. Torch D type is Torch float 16. Load in four bit that helps you use bits and bytes to load the model in four bit quantization. The quantization type, and also the compute D type, the data structure D type. If you do not specify this by default, it takes float 32, which will impact the inference speed. Once you have done all these things, that means you have downloaded the tokenizer, downloaded the model. Now we are going to use Hugging Faces Transformers pipeline to specify a pipeline. The pipeline in this case is a text generation pipeline and all the other details are something that just default goes inside. The next thing that we have here is the, we have to define the prompt format for Llama 2. If you have been using Llama 2, you know that Llama 2 follows a particular prompting format or a method. So we are going to define that particular method here that is enclosed with inst inst and all the other information. And you can also specify a default system prompt. Here in this case, I've given a default system prompt saying you are an advanced life guru and mental health expert that excels at giving advice. Everybody needs a mental health expert, don't you? And then you have got extra details about how it should be, you know, accurate. It should not give uh, toxic, illegal content or all these things. The next thing is a bunch of helper functions that I actually copied from this starter code, which is to help you define the prompt template. Then to finally, when you get the output to remove the unnecessary input string that is available, then also finally generate the final output and then parse it and, you know, clean it up and then give it to you. 
so this particular section takes care of all the text formatting and also this particular text section takes care of the generation in itself so if i have to quickly go inside the generation all we are doing is we are taking the text creating the prompt then we are using that prompt to give it to tokenizer once we have the inputs ready then we are going to take it back and then give it to the model to generate the outputs once the output is generated we are going to decode it parse the text clean it up and then return it it's a very simple code let me repeat it again first we are going to give the text the text is going to be converted into prompt the prompt is given inside as inputs or it's tokenized and kind of like encoded and the input is now sent inside the model for generation once the output is ready then you're going to decode the output then clean up the text and then par parse it and clean it up and then finally display the output that's what we're doing at this point everything is ready for us now all we have to do is define the llm which is core in a typical langchain tutorial you would see open ai here but in this particular case we wanted to do everything offline we want to do everything local local in this case within google collab for me but if you have got like a powerful gpu you can do it on your local computer as well so we're going to use hugging face pipeline defining the pipeline which is what we already defined here at the top this is what we defined so that pipeline basically goes inside this and then certain model quads like what kind of temperature you want to set max length top k um, if you want to have like top p values and all these like penalty you want to specify all these things go inside the model quads that is how you're specifying the llm and again you can give the system prompt and instruction prompt uh, that will override the default prompt that creates the template and once you have the template you can print the template and see this is how the template looks the actual prompt text that you give he is going to go here inside this and that creates the prompt template and the prompt in itself as you can see the text takes this and then uses inside this and it goes inside the prompt now you're going to create an llm chain where you've got the prompt where you've got the llm and if you want it to be verbose, you can specify it to be true, then it will be verbose. If you don't want it to be verbose, like in my case, I'm going to specify it false. Now, everything is ready for us. All we have to do is give the text. Like in this case, I've said like, why is there a big problem in life? And then I'm expecting a response. And the way I'm expecting a response is I'm using LLM chain, the object that we defined and using run method and then sending the text inside it. And we are going to expect a response from it. And that is quite simple and straightforward. Let's look at the response first. Why is there a big problem in life? Okay, it says, ah, a curious soul are you seeking answers to the age old question of life's mysteries. And it just goes on and on. It uses emoticons as well, like I kind of like it. And finally it says, remember my dear, life is a journey of self discovery and personal growth. It's full of challenges and triumphs. This almost sounds like a mental health expert and this almost sounds like a life guru. Probably I can make like a life guru using Lama too. Just to show that I'm not cheating around, I'm going to run this again, but you can see that it has taken about 44 seconds. So I'm going to cut the time of 44 seconds so you don't have to wait looking at your screen, but let's ask a question. So in this case, I'm going to ask a question. My life sucks. What do you suggest? Please don't tell me to meditate. That's it. We're going to send it and it is going to take about like 44 seconds to get the response back. Now, why does it take 44 seconds? There are a bunch of factors. One is how much RAM that we have got, like the GPU memory that we have got is going to play a huge role. The second is also what kind of model that you have loaded, like four bit quantization model would probably take lesser time. There are techniques and optimization techniques that you can use to improve the inference speed, like the VLLM library that we saw. But anyways, the prompting has been done. So the question that we ask, my life sucks. What do you suggest? Please don't tell me to meditate. It just goes on and says, okay, I understand that you are feeling frustrated with your life. I'm here to offer some constructive suggestions, but I must remind you that meditation is not a one size fits all solution. And it is important to address the root causes of your struggles rather than simply telling you to meditate. Okay. Thanks Lama too for taking my feedback seriously. So it says step one, identify the problem. Step two, explore the underlying causes. And it just goes on and on. And I honestly feel like it has done a really good job. Like uh, I'm not, I'm not once again claiming that this is a drop in replacement of for chat GPT, but I think by having decent prompting and also using it with libraries like Langchain with, with which you can also give it memory and do rag retrieval augmented generation, give internet capabilities. I think this is a pretty powerful model. Like uh, we, we don't, we don't use it like that. We've been like 
usually you know just simply asking question and getting back and i think this is a pretty powerful model and this google collab notebook will be in the youtube description for you to just directly click and get started once you get started this should run pretty straightforward if you're running this on your local computer just go click here file and then download it download the .py file or ip on by file the jupyter notebook file and then run it on your local machine if you are running it on local machine the first thing probably you need to do is you need to do nvidia smi that will actually tell you what kind of gpu that you have got so you have an idea about how it works right now it shows an error but ideally it should work so i think that is what everything that we have got in the llama chain with lang chain llama chain with lang chain i don't know why i said that llama 2 with lang chain if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting